Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here. I am. Welcome back to another video. Today, people, today I'm going to be doing another how to use slash strategy guide on my channel. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at Sheer Force for Alligator. Yes, he is released. They finally did. And you can go pick it up via Pokebank, thanks to Nintendo. I don't know if they're still distributing them, but if they are, go check it out right now so you can catch it. Now, for the first effort for Alligator, I'm going to show you which item you're going to want. You're going to want a Life Orb. Now, Life Orb is very good because it works well with Sheer Force. You got that 2.6 times damage. That's like a Swords Dance right off the bat right there. Very good uh, combo, Sheer Force and Life Orb on for Alligator. So, I recommend running the Life Orb. If you really want to run like something else, I don't really know what you would want to on this set. You could run Air Balloon now. <laughs> Air Balloon would be stupid. Lum even. You could run a Lum Berry. Lum Berry would be good because if you get burnt, then you're... Not screwed, but you're going to want that attack boost because you're going to want to sweep. It's not like you're going to see that much uh, uh, Will-O-Whispers. Not Will-O-Whispers, Prankster Mon. So, you don't really have to worry about that. So, let's put a Life Orb back on him right here. Now, for his move sets, you're going to want Ice Punch. Ice Punch is a very good move, so you can kill those dragons. You can kill grass types even, which for alligators we too so you got the coverage right there and then you got flying types right there as well and ground types so you got four types right there that for alligator can destroy if he sets up d dance at the beginning of the battle now for a second move you're going to want to run waterfall waterfall is a very good stab move and it gets activated or it activates sheer force as well so it's got a super high attack boost it's got the life orb it's got sheer force and then it's got stab plus it's 80 attack or 80 base power so it's a very good move to run on for alligator you could run aqua jet but I mean you're not gonna really be worrying about speed after you set up D dance now for the third move you're gonna want crunch crunch is very good because it takes out those sweeping psychic types that you always see in every tier there's always at least one that you have to worry about so crunch is very good again it activates sheer force so it's get, it gets that attack boost and then you have life orb on deck destroying pretty much any psychic type in your way now for your fourth move you're gonna want d-dance d-dance is a very good move it raises the attack and speed by one and if you set up two d-dances on this for alligator he is gg from there you're gonna sweep you have sheer force you have life orb you have d-dance times two so you don't have to worry about anything now for his ev spread on this set you're gonna want attack of course so you could hit super hard even with that base 105 uh attack he's still going to be banging through freaking even physical walls i would think with uh times two d dance or even times one now for the next ev spread rate or ev stat right here you're gonna want speed now speed is very crucial on for alligator again you're gonna want max speed in this and even a jolly nature just because he has only a base 78 speed and that's not gonna really be doing any work against fast sweepers Unless you set up two D dancers, you're not going to be able to outspeed with like zero EVs in this speed stat. So you're going to want Max and Jolly so you could at least outspeed some things. Now for the four EVs, this is really a preference thing. You could run Defense, Special Defense, or HP. I usually run Special Defense because that's his lowest stat, but again, your choice on that. Now for the second set right here, we have a Choice Band. For alligator with sheer force this thing is a monster it hits super hard if you get sticky webs up for example right here i have garvantula he could run sticky webs and you'll lose and your opponent will lose uh speed by one so it'll go minus one their speed unless they're levitate or something like that and also garvantula is super fast so you'll be able to go ahead and set up those sticky webs easily if you run focus sash very good now back onto the set for the Feral Gear, because that's what we're supposed to, be, supposed to be looking at. Again, Choice Band, then for the moves, you're going to want that uh, Ice Punch, because you cover four types right there, which is very good. Ground, Flying, Dragon, and Grass, what Feral Gear is weak to. And then for the second move, Waterfall, of course, you want that Stab, Crunch again for those sweeping... Uh, psychic types and then finally you're gonna want aqua jet now aqua jet is a very good move because if you have someone with like extreme speed or something you got that sticky webs up so you're not gonna outspeed unless you have you have sticky webs up but that doesn't mean you're gonna outspeed his extreme speed you're gonna need that aqua jet so you can so if you have an aqua jet choice banded sheer force mon 
it's very good and then you have sticky lips of course so um, I don't know if that has an effect if you're using aqua jet but you're gonna go first every time with that thing so I recommend writing that now for his EV spread on this mod it's gonna be pretty much the same thing jolly um, a 252 attack, 252 speed, and then the preference thing, whatever you want to put in the HP, defense, or special defense. But that's pretty much it for this set. Now, for the third set, we have a Swords Dance for Alligator. Now, again, you're going to want to run uh, the Life Orb raid here, because Life Orb again boosts your attack by 1.3, which is very good. You got that Sheer Force, so it's 2.6. You got a Swords Dance right off the bat right there. And then if you set up one more Swords Dance, you're plus 4. You're sweeping. There's no way someone's going to destroy you from there. But I recommend with this Swords Dance set, again, to run Sticky Webs. Sticky Webs is a very good thing to run with for Alligator, because he's going to be out speed and stuff, and he's going to be hitting hard, which is very good. This thing's like a threat. So... I'm going to want to run Swords Dance, of, of course, plus two right there if you set one up. Then the Stab Waterfall again, the un Ice Punch, and the Crunch, making it a super hard hitting Pokemon. Now for the EV spread right here, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. You probably were looking at it a bit. But you're going to want to run Attack, of course, so you can hit hard. Then Speed, because the Speed is going to be very important. You're going to run Speed every time on Ferrelli, unless you're going to make some weird bulky set, but I don't see that happening. And then, again, the preference thing with the four EVs. And then, finally, for the nature, it's getting switched up this time. You're going to want to run an adamant nature. Now, since you have the sticky web support, he's not going to be, uh, he's not worrying pretty much about outspeeding or not outspeeding anything. And also, with the attack boost from the adamant nature, you have the swords dance, the sheer force, the life orb, the max attack, and then the adamant nature. So, this thing's going to be hitting like a slacking pretty much. So. Very good set if you want to run it. Now for the uh, fourth and final set, it is a Choice Scarf set. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you... Oh, we forgot to push the Sheer Force right here. I don't know if you guys were expecting a Choice Scarf uh, for Alligator. I haven't really seen it myself, but you guys might have. Now, for Choice Scarf, you're going to run, run Choice Scarf, of course. Then Waterfall, Crunt, Ice Punch. And this time, you're going to want to run Earthquake. Now, you're not going to be needing to run that Swords Dance that... Uh, D dance or even an aqua jet because your choice scarf you're gonna be able to outspeed a lot of things You won't have to worry about like a mega Who's the fastest Pokemon out there right now? I would say Alakazam or even there was a new mega that was super fast I'm just going to say Alakazam for now. You're not going to need to worry about outspeeding that thing with aqua jet So you could run earthquake on this this time I recommend not really running earthquake on any of these other sets because it's not really relevant <laughs> Uh, Earthquake, it takes care of those fire types, but I mean, you have Stab Waterfall, so it's better. So, yeah. Now, for the EV spread right here, you're going to want an attack right here, max attack. And in speed, you're going to want max speed. And then finally, the nature, you're going to want um, Adamant. Because you got the Choice Scarf, you're times two speed already. So, without the Adamant nature, you're going to be pretty much, let me do some math here. 400, 510, 510 speed, guys, right there on a for alligator. That is amazing. Just imagine I was speeding everything right there and then hitting super hard as well because you got that sheer force. So this is a very good set to run. I think I might run it myself because it seems pretty good just because the speed thing. But yeah, and then finally, of course, the four uh, EV is in one of these three stats. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to critique me on how I actually handles the, handle these videos, how I explain the move sets, that'd be very appreciated. I'd appreciate it so much. Just go ahead and type in the description down below. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me if you're going to use these sets. I really appreciate the support. Tell me if you guys like enjoyed this video as well. So anyways, if you guys did, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.